Hello and welcome to a new episode of Laravel Core Adventures, where we take pieces of our favorite PHP framework and together figure out how they work in the background. This is level number five of Laravel Facades. So let's dive right in. In the last videos, I told you a lot about facades. And one of the things that we learned is that there is a powerful method in the base facade that gets called almost every time we use a facade. So I'm talking about, where do we have it? Here in the base facade, this method at the end called call static. So every time we try to run a static method on a facade that does not exist, this method is being triggered. And that's exactly what I said before almost so almost every time but why almost and why not always well here's the exception sometimes facades have their own methods so what do i mean by that let's take for example the notification facade which you can find under window then in the laravel directory framework source illuminate support and facades here, by the way, we have all the Laravel facades. And we want to take a look at the notification facade. And here you can see that we have next to the get facade accessor method, which we already know, we have two more methods, static method route and the static method fake. We have already used a fake method for the event facade in one of the last examples. So if we take a look back at this test here, we were using the fake method here on the event to swap out the implementation of the event system. And that's the same thing what we can do with notification. So here we're swapping out the root instance of the notification, which is the channel manager with a notification fake object. And then on this object, we can use some methods like assert send to or assert send to times and assert not send to. So we have special helper methods that help us while testing facades and notifications in this example. Yeah, and when you think about it, switching out this object here is not what I would say part of the channel manager, part of the um, base instance of notification. This is why we have this method here in the facade itself. So when you think about it, this also makes sense because it's better than adding it to the channel manager itself. And next to that, there is also a route method here, which you have probably already used or, or just seen. So when we use notification, we normally would have a notifiable trait on our notifiable object. So for example, by default, the app user has this notifiable trait and this is why we can run on a user the not notify method which would look something like this and then we can pass in here the notification so that's what we normally do when we want to send out notification to specific notifiables or users in this case but what you can do as well is sending so-called on-demand notification and this is when you use the facade with the, this route method here. And it would look something like this. You will going to use the notification facade, then this route method, which is this here. And then you can define the channel here and the person you send something to. So when you use the mail channel, you would need here the email address, but you can also use an SMS channel and then you would provide the mobile number here. And this is a neat feature that you can use when you don't have notifiables stored in your database and you just want to send out a notification just for this one purpose, for example. Okay, let's get rid of that again. So here you can see it's also useful to have this method here defined on the notification facade itself. Because in the back, we are going to need a different instance, anonymous notifiable instance here in this example. But still, it's something that's very deeply connected to notification, so we can use it with the same notification facade. And the notification facade is not alone here. 
because we've already seen that, for example, the event facade also has a fake method, but there are also some more facades with other methods. So let's check that out as well. So for example, there's the out facade. Here we have a routes method, or what else do we have? The bus facade. Here we also have a fake method and the cookie facade I have here on my list. So what do we have here? A get method. And there are a bunch of other facades that have methods defined on the facade itself. Generally speaking, these additional methods on your facades are useful when you want to handle some features within the facade, even if the return instance might be a little bit different from the facade's root. So I think this is a yeah, really good solution here to keep all the features under the same facade, which makes it much more convenient for the developers and much more easy to use. So I felt this was also one thing I wanted to show you because I think it's quite interesting how this is handled in Laravel. And I think this was probably the last video for facades. So for me, it's time to start thinking about a new topic. I wish everyone a great day. See you and stay tuned.